Hey everyone, Heyday Guides here, bringing you the fourth video in the Let's Play Fishing series. Before I start, I'm happy to announce that, again, this video is sponsored by AppNana. They've given me another $10 iTunes gift card so I can once again speed things up and get to the interesting parts of the fishing instead of just sitting around. For those of you that don't know what AppNana is or haven't checked out AppNana yet, I recommend you do so, as it's a great way to get some free diamonds for Heyday. If you want to learn more about AppNana, you can click their icon in the bottom left of the video, or I'll also leave a link at the end of the video, too. This is actually the second time I'll be going through and trying to catch some of these fish, as when I tried to record this Let's Play the first time, my recording software got messed up and decided not to record. Now let's get into some fishing. I'm going to speed the video up here a little bit as I'm creating some blue lures here since we only have one fish left that can be caught with the green lure. Right now the four new fish that I can catch with the blue lure all have a medium or small circle which is why if I see a large circle I just drop my line so I don't waste my lure. Looks like we actually got a good fish on line right here as it's putting up quite a bit of fight and is a medium sized circle but when we do finally reel it in, it's a northern stud fish, which is a fish that we've already caught. Now that we have caught about two-thirds of the fish in the scrapbook, you can tell that it's starting to get a lot harder to catch some of these fish as they put up quite a bit of fight and are pretty rare to even find sometimes. While some of the other fish are very easy to catch and you will catch them over and over again when you're trying to go after some of the rare fish, which can definitely be a big pain. Looks like we got a good fish on the line here as we got a small circle fish and that's putting up quite a bit of fight and as you can see we almost catch it there but keeps trying to get away and as the circle closes in finally catch it and we got another new fish which is the salmon. I'm going to go ahead and speed the video up here again as we continue searching for the few rare fish that we can catch with the blue lure. You may notice that I am going back and forth mainly between areas 3 and 8. The reason for this is 3 of the 4 fish that I can catch with the blue lure are in either area 3 or 8. Which means if I didn't have these diamonds from Apnana, it would definitely um, drag out how long it would take for me to try to catch these fish as you would only get one chance every three or four hours. So if you don't want to use up your diamonds trying to catch these rare fish, it's important to be very selective on which fish you decide to reel in and which ones you just let go. Looks like we got another good fish on the line here as it's a small circle and it's putting up quite a bit of fight. Also it's in area three which is very good since the rainbow smelt is in this area and as you can see we almost catch it quite a few times but just keeps ducking out of that circle and fighting and fighting but as we continue to fight for it we finally reel it in and we got another new fish which is the rainbow smelt as I speed the video up here again you could definitely see that that last fish definitely put up quite a bit of fight as there's a few times where we almost had it caught and it dashed out of the small circle and almost got away. So you can see that these rarer fish definitely put up a lot of fight. So if you get a fish on the line that doesn't put up a lot of fight, it's usually safe to say that it's not one of these rare fish. With that in mind, you'll probably notice that I'm getting a little bit more picky about which fish I decide to reel in and which ones I let go. Um, I probably could be a little more picky, but since I want to try to keep these videos short, I tend to risk catching the wrong fish in hopes of, you know, the fact that it actually is a new fish and we can get another fish checked off our list. While I got a moment here, I just want to announce to everyone that I recently took a lot of people off my Game Center friends list to clear up room for new people. Uh, I tried to delete just people that I didn't think played Heyday anymore, but if I deleted you and you still play, I'm very sorry. Please go ahead and re-add me if you would like, and for all those of you that were requesting or trying to send me a request, go ahead and send me one now and I'll be able to accept it.
I believe at this point in the video, I gave up going after just the blue lore fish and decided to try my luck with some purple lures since I wasn't getting any luck with the blues. So let's hope we get uh, some better luck here with the purple lures. Uh, looks like we got a fish on the line here, hopefully. And as we try to reel it in, it's not putting up too much of a fight, but there's a lot more uh, fish out there that we can catch with the purple lure. But as we almost catch it there, it does start to put up quite a bit of fight. And as we finally reel it in, we got another new fish here, which is the sauger, which can actually be caught with both the blue and the purple lures. As I speed the video back up here, I'm going to go ahead and try once again to catch the final fish that I need with the green lure, which is the brook trout. Since the brook trout is only found in area 8 and has a small circle, it's definitely one of the more rare fish. As you'll see, I will continually drop my lure since even to get a small circle in this area can be sometimes a real big pain. Well, I got some extra time here. Um, I'm happy to announce that I will be having another free diamond giveaway very shortly. I'm thinking about starting it once I get 4,000 subscribers and it'll probably run for about a week or two so it won't be a very long one. Also, it won't be just restricted to people in the U.S. I'm going to try to get more countries involved or more countries that will be able to win. I'm not exactly sure if I can get every single country involved, but I will try my best. So hopefully, no matter where you live, you'll still have a chance at winning some free diamonds. But back to fishing now. Um, I think I finally get a fish with a small circle size on my line here. But as you can see, it definitely is putting up a lot of fight. I do come pretty close to catching it here, I believe, but it just keeps fighting and after a while, it, fortunately it got away, so might have just missed my chance at catching a brook trout there. Seems like the brook trout has definitely been the hardest fish for me to catch so far, although I haven't tried to catch the golden trout yet, so I'm hoping that golden trout is not as hard as this one since. This one has definitely been giving me quite a bit of trouble to catch. I'd be interested to know if anyone out there who has tried to catch all the fish has had trouble with any certain fish, since I know there's a few of the harder fish that I still have left to catch, so it'd be nice to know if there's any that I should keep an eye out for on the um, hard to catch list. Also, just for anyone who's watching that has tried some of the fishing or has tried to catch some of the other fish with the colored lures, um, let me know what you guys have thought about fishing and how your fishing is going. As you may or may not have noticed, I actually decided to give up on trying to go after the brook trout and just go after some of the purple fish since I believe there's four new fish that I can catch with the purple lure. Also, some of the fish that I can catch with the purple lure can be caught in any area and not just a single area. So I'm just trying to, you know, switch it up here a little bit and hopefully keep this video interesting. So it seems like as I'm getting down to these rare fish here, I'm spending a lot more time throwing in lures and trying to get the right circle size and the right fish. So hopefully this doesn't get too boring for you guys. As always, I'll ask you guys to comment down below what you guys think of the video. Um, let me know if you think I should start cutting out some of this in between where I'm not catching any fish and just speeding up the video. Be interesting to know if you guys like watching that or if you just want to see me, you know, catch the fish to complete this collection of 30 fish. So go ahead and comment down below. Also, if you just have anything else just related to Hey Day, uh, it'd be great to hear from some of you guys. Like I always say, it's always nice to hear what you guys think or just hear how other players are doing in Hey Day and what they think of the either fishing or other parts of the game. As you may or may not have noticed, I'm still trying to switch things up and use the purple lure here. And looks like we finally got a fish on the line here. It doesn't seem like it's putting up much fight, which made me believe that this was going to be another old fish. But as you can see, once we reel it in and catch it, we got another new fish, which is the longer sunfish. Which will bring us up to a total of four new fish for this video. 
So let's go ahead and check out our scrapbook and see all the new fish that we caught and also collect all the diamonds that we get for the new fish. As we go through the scrapbook you can see that we actually have a few pages that are completely done. Not very many grayed out photos of fish meaning that we are getting very close to catching all 30 here. Hopefully we'll be able to catch these last few hard fish in the next video or maybe next two videos. I know it seemed like I was going to end the video there, but I decided to go ahead and try to catch the brook trout. With the brook trout being the last fish I need to catch with the green lure, I wanted to get it out of the way. Also, with how long it's taken me to try to catch it, I figured I'd go ahead and do it at the end here, just in case I spent another 10 minutes failing to catch it. There's actually about 5 minutes of me fishing that I decided to cut out since it would make this video way too long and it's just a failed attempt to catch the brook trout. From what I've seen, it seems like the brook trout is very rare to even get on your line, and then once you have it on your line, it really puts up a lot of fight, making it hard to catch. It's probably easy to tell when you have one on your line, since if you're using a green lure and you get a small circle, and the fish puts up a lot of fight, the chances are most likely that it is a brook trout. Looks like we finally got one on the line here, and as you can see, it's not putting up much fight at first, but once we get very close to catching it, it starts to put up quite a bit of fight and almost gets away there, but luckily I kept it on the line. Actually, it almost gets away a couple times, and as we almost catch it again and finally reel it in, we can add the brook trout to our list of fish caught and finally cross that one off the list. With another new fish caught here, let's go ahead and take one more look at the scrapbook here. The asp there I didn't pick up because we haven't caught that in a video yet. But as you can see, when we look through all the other ones, we can collect the diamonds for the brook trout. And there's only a few fish left. That'll wrap things up for part 4 of the quest for the golden trout. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for part 5. Other than that, be sure to check out my other videos, and thanks for watching, everyone.